Gardens, and today we're going to talk about crepe myrtles. These crepe myrtles are part of the barista collection from Walters Gardens. They're roughly three feet in height in the landscape, and they're hardy to zone six. We have uh, three different colors on display here. We have a wonderful lavender pink, a nice deep magenta color, and also a beautiful white. These crepe myrtle are kind of in between a perennial and a shrub, where in the north they actually die back all the way to the ground, and new foliage will appear on strong woody stems, as you see in the base of this plant. They bloom on the new growth every year, and even though they don't bloom until August, the plants are very attractive with a nice thick flush of foliage that looks wonderful all summer long. The foliage is a nice dark green, and these are nice, full, compact plants. Now there are two different times a year you can transplant these into containers. And in the summer they're offered as a small plug, which is best planted in either a two or three gallon container, and take roughly 10 to 12 weeks to finish off. You can also plant these from a large plug in the spring, again into a two to three gallon container, and they will take roughly eight to 10 weeks. And that's being grown at anywhere between 68 and 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Crepe myrtle are heat loving plants and will put the most growth on during the heat of the summer. Crepe myrtles love a lot of light. Full sun in the landscaping and if grown under greenhouse conditions, clear plastic, clear poly with high light levels are optimal. If crepe myrtle do not receive enough sunlight, they will tend to become quite leggy and sparse and not flower as well. These plants like to be planted in a well drained media of bark, perlite, and peat. Crepe myrtle are plants that typically like slightly acidic soil. Around a pH of 5.5 to 6 works really well in a container, and uh, a little bit wider range around 5 to, to 6.5 in, in the ground. As far as fertility goes, crepe myrtle are relatively moderate feeders. Usually a liquid feed of 100 to 125 parts per million nitrogen as a constant liquid feed works well. Otherwise, if you're a nursery that likes to incorporate slow-release fertilizer in your soil or in your media, uh, then we would recommend a one to one and a half pounds per cubic yard rate. Crepe myrtle are relatively drought tolerant in landscaping once established, so they do not need a large amount of water. But as, as you initially plant them, it is good to uh, give them a thorough drink. And again, this is Jeremy with Walters Gardens. And I hope this information is something you can apply to be successful in growing these crepe myrtles.